time for us to do the Natar quest. Now, to get this started, the first thing we actually need to do is go and scan some... I think they're called Sentinels. My mind wants to say Oculist, and you'll see why as we get further into the game, but I think for now they're called Sentinels. Now, for this, you want, like, a real map to go on. You can go on pretty much anything. I think I'm going to choose a capture for this because it should be a little bit quicker. Exterminate works as well, but once we get into a mission, we should actually get a marker to show us where we need to go. Well done. Okay, and so I've captured my capture targets, and as we can see, let me uh, bring the map up here. We have these white markers that have come up on the map. I have changed weapons for the Ignis Wraith. I am going to detail some better weapons we can switch to. The heck is actually a really good weapon, and if we keep on progressing, as we have been, the vehicle heck is even better, but um, I decided I want to switch the Ignis Wraith because the Phantom Inn happens to have it. So these... Oh, they are Oculus. <laughs> so these are what we need to scan here. I think I've already got enough scans on it. Let me select this. So give these a scan. These are what are going to allow us to continue the Natar mission. Once we've done that, we can just go ahead and extract as normal. And then once we get back to the Orbiter, we should be able to come into the inbox. We'll have the quest waiting for us. I don't know if we can delete this or not. We should now be able to activate it from Star Chart. Now, I imagine most of this should be pretty self-explanatory. It's been a while since I've been through the quest, drone. so bear with Gather me if I don't remember some of it. Ah, okay, we have a big Orokin artifact here. Okay, we're just got another Oculus, it seems. See if we can't grab ourselves another one. It's kind of funny because Helios is basically taking care of all of the uh, all of the scans. Okay, let's get another scan in. There we are. Okay then, so I'm gonna try to keep most of the dialogue out. After the dialogue, we can now move on to the next part of the mission. I feel like as much guidance with as little spoiler is probably for the best. Okay, so looks like we're in for a mirror defense. I don't think this one is particularly different, if I remember rightly. Okay, so after finishing our mobile defense with our new edgelord friend, let's see what happens next. I'll probably skip past any dialogue, but it was basically a straightforward mobile defense in this mission, so I don't think we need to detail too much of it. Again, so moving on, we have Find the Sergeant. Bonatar. I wonder if this is going to be a capture mission. It may well be, so... Looks like it is. Let's get on in for this capture steps. mission. The pedals have opened once more, but why now? Afraid of what we'll find? Okay, so, yeah, straightforward capture mission. I don't feel like there was anything I needed to show you guys. We didn't have to do any scanning or anything. So we can move on to the next one. Pupil. What is your lotus hiding? Who is Nata? My name. Okay then, so, time for us to do the final part, which I believe is going to be a defense mission. Which, um, basically means this is a series of pretty standardized quests, with the only real kind of different part being the way this one begins. The next main quest though, which is going to be, I think, Second Dream, is where things are going to start really becoming quite cool for us. I'll, have to, I'll find out once we get this done. But in any case, let me just put a check to make sure this is what I think it is. Well, here we are. So yeah, we're basically going to be defending this, which is supposed to be like a bomb or something. Does it say what it is? Different cryopod. Mm. <laughs> Pretty sure the, uh, the lore is this is a bomb. In any case, defend for 10 waves. We'll see what happens at the end. Okay, so I'm just going to cut in. It's worth noting that the defense point moves around. I'm pretty sure it'll be obvious to most people, but just in case you like stood here and then the thing moves on you, it's probably good for me just to say. Just bear in mind that at the end of each wave, the location of the point that you're defending will move. Either way, I've got seven rounds left. I'll meet you guys when we've done that. Okay, so after the defense is finished, really wasn't too difficult. You can see that the mission is complete and we have our first Exilus adapter. Something else that I'm going to say, I haven't used anything like this on any of my Warframes just yet. It's because I'm so used to saving them for Prime Warframes and I just haven't been farming that kind of thing with this account, so maybe we'll never use them, maybe we will. I guess we'll see how far we get before 
I start Tenno, feeling desperate. You seal my tomb. You kill my two men. Not acceptable. Just figured I'd show you guys kind of what Our differences need. It's all to mega be basic settled. stuff. Probably the only like really strong so, thing is the Ignis Wraith, which I did put a I reactor on it, just because this Come can carry us into like really late game areas. Just so this is worth investing try. in if you can get it out of your clan. It's going to be a good idea. Um, my clan's currently researching it, so anybody on PC and is following this should be able to uh, to get this pretty him. soon. So all good, really. Well, there we have it. The tar quest is complete.